for joining us for the Brethren Way Advent devotional series as we journey together daily with brethren across the world through the Advent season. Each episode includes a prayer written by brethren women across all five of our regions, followed by a Bible passage to consider and a couple of reflection questions to ponder. These prayers collectively cover a wide range of emotions, from longing and desperation to gratitude and hope, creating a tapestry of sincere expressions and requests in the context of faith and relationship with God through this season of hopeful waiting. We hope you enjoy the Brethren Way Advent devotional series. Lord Jesus, in the season of Advent, remind us that although we await your arrival with bated breath, this is a season of preparation, planning, and promise. In our present lives, we look to the future full of hope, hope for what is to come in the new year. We resolve ourselves to do better, to be better, to achieve more. In this season, we create to-do lists, wish lists, elaborate parties for family and friends. We plan and prepare for all the joy-filled chaos of the holiday season. In the busyness, we ask that you draw our focus from the excitement of gift wrap, glitter, and gatherings toward a reminder of Mary's preparation and planning to bring a child into the world, the Messiah, in conditions less than ideal. Help us to recognize her faith and hear her fervent prayers of hope for her son and for the future of her world. Help us also to focus on renewal. As we enter into a season which precedes the natural reset that the new year brings, aid us in renewing our minds, our spirits, our relationships, and our community. Empower us to break cycles of revenge and retribution in our own lives as we watch a world filled with wars and rumors of wars. Help us, Lord, to forgive those who have caused us hurt and give us strength to refuse retributive justice as a resolution to our pain. Give us the resilience to face the world with your love rather than human hate, your peace rather than worldly anger your forgiveness rather than fleshly grudges. Lord, we know it is a time of strife for many. It is a time of suffering and pain for many. It is a time of hopelessness and despair for many. We ask that you give us the eyes to see those who are hurting so that we can assist them. Please grant us the clear purpose of bringing your kingdom to this earth through selfless service. We ask that you give them peace and hope in your love while the world collapses around them. Those who are anxious, give them confidence. Those who are hurting, give them healing. Those who have lost loved ones, give them community and support as they grieve. Lord, in all these things, we praise you. Let us center your renewal in our hearts set aside the anxieties of the world. Let us look from excitement or from suffering to the perfect Son, Jesus Christ, who will make all things new. As we await with eager hope your coming, Lord, let us live as you lived, serve as you served, love as you loved, to share your glory and promise of our redemption. Help us to see and share the promise of your love with those around us. Ingrain within us hearts of service. Cultivate our desire to share the hope of your arrival and the beauty of your sacrifice and salvation with those who seek it. In all things, Lord, hear our heartfelt prayers that this Advent season is one of preparation for your coming, planning for how we can serve you, and hope in the fulfillment of your glorious promise. Amen. Roman 
Romans 8, 24 through 25 says, For in this hope we are saved. But hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Now consider the theme of hope in this prayer and the anticipation of Christ's arrival. Reflect on Romans 8, 24 through 25 and ask yourself, how can the concept of waiting patiently for the hope we do not yet see, as mentioned in this passage, deepen my understanding of the Advent season? In what ways can I cultivate patience and trust in God's promises as I prepare, plan, and hope for the fulfillment of His glorious promises during this Advent season and in the coming year? Thank you for listening to this episode of the Brethren Way Advent devotional series. If you enjoyed what you heard, please make sure to follow and subscribe to the Brethren Way podcast so you get daily notifications of new episodes through the Advent season. Let's journey together through this time of hopeful waiting and see what the Lord has in store for us.